This is Ray's Grid, a normal Minecraft world with 99% of all blocks removed. Despite its extremeness, everything is still possible. With the goal of this series to obtain every advancement, item, as well as mob. Watch the series from the beginning with a link down below, as well as learn how you can actually join us in this world. In the last episode, we went out exploring in the nether dimension and acquired ourselves quite a few new advancements. Today, we're going to go on an adventure looking for a specific block that could solve our biggest problem. So our spawn is actually an island and there's an ocean all the way around it. So the only way to travel is to either make your own bridge or go to the bottom of the world where you can actually hop across the blocks down there. I tried to do some exploring at the very bottom of the world to avoid the hostile mobs at the top. Nope, I found the void. <gasps> oh, it looks so pretty from underneath. Hey, squid. Both end up in the same spot. Oh, phantoms after me. Hey, got him. We got a membrane off these guys. Awesome sword in there. I went out exploring and looking for some unique blocks that could help us progress. Hey, Magma. And we got it. Okay, Sting brings us back. Actually, I think we can pick up Lapis with a uh, with a combo pickaxe. Hey, we got Lapis. Another cool new item. Use that for enchanting. We had iron right here the whole time. <laughs> Of course, I can never turn down some iron when I see it. Let's store this safely back at spawn. Before heading out further on the way back, I came across this. At first glance, it may seem a bit odd, but what's going on is that we only have grass blocks at the very top layer, so they're pretty rare. In order to get tons of passive mobs, we need to actually move that grass down to where there's more dirt. It doesn't naturally do this because the dirt's so far away from it, and we don't got silk touch yet. So the best way is to make these old-fashioned dirt staircases, or to slowly spread. Wait, wait, Hello. wait. Hello. Oh, to the rescue. Thank you. All right, so we got some new items. Iron, magma, lapis, coal. A couple of guys managed to kill some spiders and got some string. Martin went ahead and actually made it into a fishing rod. Ooh, you got a nautilus shell. Nice. Any other nearby resources? We got grass over there. I wanted to get some more grass in your spawn, so I went ahead and built a dirt staircase for this other dirt in the area. Okay, so I added dirt to this grass and some grass can spread in case we want to have more of it. So, all the blocks are left the way they are, so including grass, it just floats there. And no seed out of that one. Another grass. Sand's also in the world, it's just floating. We'll need sand for different things. Okay, so there's kelp here. Just floating, broke it off, updated the water. So there's amethyst over here. Earlier, we seen a geode off in the distance. Let's go check it out. But there's no amethyst buds, so this was a geode. Oh, there's another, another. Oh, that one has a geode, or has a bud. Oh, awesome! So we can actually create a farm, even if it's a very inefficient one. Oh, that is awesome. We can't take this back with us. Can't actually mine the bud. Okay, let's mine shards. Awesome! Another new item, amethyst shard. Oh, that's just a floating bud or floating uh, amethyst. It's not actually a bud. We only got a single bud here. Oh, we need to protect us with our lives. I was told by other guys we got some good news, so I headed back to spawn. Okay, so the guys say the mob farm is complete. They got the plus sign with the water, and if any mobs do spawn, they should end up down here. Might be a little bit difficult because currently all the mobs are right underneath of us. Oh my goodness, look at all the mobs down here. Uh... Oh, zombie. Oh, there's a the spider. Oh, it's got a string. Nice. That's amazing. Oh, actually getting some mob spawns. I guess if we want to, we could also poke some holes in the floor so the light will prevent mobs from spawning down below, at least in the daytime. Okay, so we got some string from the mob farm. And let's go ahead and make a fishing pole. We can also make a bow. A fishing pole. Awesome. Fishing unlocks a lot. From enchanting books, name tags, saddles, get water bottles, which you can use for potions. All different types of fish you can get from this. Enchanted fishing rods, which are really good because then we can continue fishing without needing to use more string. Also get enchanted bows, which would be cool for knocking off blazes or ghast. 
Ooh, got our first fish and a new advancement fishy business. So that is part of the husbandry one. Catch a fish. Oh, we got enchanted bow. It's curse of vanishing. <laughs> Fishing bowls. Got some food. Take a couple of food with me. And I believe you can fish up more string. That's pretty nice. The lower mob farm might be faster. That fortress we found, I would like to go kill some blazes, as we'll need them for the eyes of Ender to get into the end dimension. Okay, let's make ourselves a shield to protect from the blaze. Uh, before we go, let's reset our inventory or reset our help. Okay, let's go try to kill that blaze. Okay, got our shield. Ready to go. Bye-bye, phantoms. Ooh, I see the blazes. Here the fireballs. Here comes another one. Also, I already built a nice wall. Oh, we got more of them. Come from every which way. Oh! Oh! I think I was trying to hit you, but it ended up hitting me. <laughs> yeah, let's grab a boat. Will they get out of the boat? Will they break it? <laughs> no! I have to get another piece of iron to make another shield. Every time we die, it is a pretty big setback because we lose everything that we die with. So we have to get more bridging materials, more food, more tools and weapons. And if we want another shield, we have to get more iron. So I did some more cobble mining at this other cobble generator that we have. Okay, so I want a sword. Okay, let's try without a shield. Oh, a wither skeleton. Can you get up here? Oh, that wither skeleton. Oh. Yes, I got the new advancement of Monster Hunter. Awesome. Adventure. Monster Hunter. Kill any hostile monster. First one I killed was actually Wither Skeleton. Everything else I've been avoiding. We also have a boat we can place down and catch these guys. Guess why it's, it's gonna come. Ooh, got bone. Then we went out to try to kill another blaze. Oh no, I got knocked back. GG. We tried to use the tactic of catching mobs in boats so we could easily kill them. Unfortunately, no wither skull from this guy. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna break one more and then we'll come up. Break, break one block. Ah! Oh no! You must die! Ah. That did not go as we wanted. Round two. Just kill this thing. Yay! Awesome, we killed the blaze. When it come to catching blazes in boats, it was very difficult with the grid generation. We'll eventually have to build an actual farm here. Hopefully we can find a blaze spawner, which is even more rare. The majority of blaze spawners actually get deleted with the game. But we did pretty good killing a blaze. We did get our first blaze rod during the blaze hunt. This will be useful in making Eyes of Ender. Doing so also got us a new advancement into fire, collecting a blaze rod. Uh oh, we got phantoms back again. Every night, phantoms continue to plague the server. Oh no! We desperately need a lot of wool, which either means we need a lot of spiders or at least one sheep. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that was scary. Oh wow, someone actually got the grass to all spread out. We'll check back on this area to see if we get any sheep to spawn in. Oh, look at this. We got a kelp farm going here too. Look at all the people AFK fishing. Oh, they got axolotl. Oh, wow. And so they got enchanted book. Also got some enchanted bows. A bunch of other things, including fish and lily pads. Oh, that was nice. Uh, what else we got? Name tags. Keep mobs from despawning. If we can find ourselves buried treasure, which is actually possible, just astronomically rare. Also, don't really get maps to help you, but we could combine that to make a conduit. Oh, another exile. This is a pink one. Pretty cool. Our goal is to obtain all the mobs in the game. So, breeding axolotls to get the rare one. Ooh, that's gonna be tough. Ooh, someone got some more automatic cobble farm going on over here. It's producing cobble over on the side and it's pushing it towards the player. Great job. He also got some hoppers. That must took quite a while to get hoppers. <laughs> Dropper thing. This thing is like the most sophisticated thing on the server. Hoppers already collecting. Getting large amounts of materials is the hardest thing early on. So automating cobble as well as moss is very important. As so much time is just wasted collecting materials so that you can actually build stuff or go exploring. 
There are so many natural resources throughout the world, but they're so difficult to find, so we have to do a lot of exploring in order to have a chance to gather them. Oh! Oh, it's a normal squid. Ah, so we got some squid ink. Since our spawn area is surrounded by a large ocean, it's not easy to just parkour about. So instead we place down long rows of slabs. This does take a lot of materials, but will be useful in the future when transporting things back and forth. This also updates the water, giving us an easy way to climb back up after collecting something. Okay, so we found ourselves a new biome. This is a lush caves, whose moss blocks and also the glowing vines. No. No, no. After a few deaths, we finally got the moss block, which is actually one of the most important blocks in Raised Grid. At night, it's actually easier to find these lush cave biomes because of the glowberries. <gasps> what? No, 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 what? Did I? Oh, I think I'm like disconnecting. I thought I was having internet problems, but it turns out the data pack we had to stop players from pushing each other was sending too many updates to everyone on the server, which was causing them to lag. We eventually resolved this. Okay. We got some of the glowberries. Awesome. Should be good to go. Let's head back. Get this stuff delivered to spawn. So we got our moss blocks. You guys also got some more of the glow vines that will help us get up and down. We can use that also in the nether dimension. So with the moss block, we can foam to the top of it and get different types of vegetation that's new. There's like a uh, moss carpet there. And we can also get uh, azalea. So azalea can be planted. So let's bone mill this azalea tree up. Hey, awesome. So we got rooted dirt, another new item, as well as the azalea tree, <laughs> which provides us with oak logs, which we already have. But we also can get these cool leaves. We had some shears, we could actually collect them. We also got wheat seeds, which we can use to uh, grow some farm. Let's grab our hoe and make some farmland. Okay, so right here we're putting in some of our crops. Let's make some room. I need to place in some water too. But for now, although known fact is that farmland doesn't convert to dirt as long as there's crops on top of it. Okay, let's grab some water. Nice, so that should hydrate it and it should be able to grow. Wow. The guys are really maximizing everything we got going on. Look at this massive tree farm. Tons of wood. The guys are over here smelting up cobblestone using the charcoal, putting in stone with the moss. We'll give it a try. Hey, look at that. That's pretty awesome. With that single moss block, we're able to convert stone over to as much moss as we need. We also get tons of extra vegetation on top. The vegetation as well as the extra moss can be used with a composter to turn it into bone meal and will actually produce a surplus, giving us an alternative than just having to kill skeletons for their bones. We can then repeat this moss bone milling process as long as we want, which is going to be key for progressing on raised grid, since we can automate the process of getting moss blocks, which are very useful because they're easy to break down so you can use them for scaffolding and you can also just use them for general building. We are in a new age of raised grid, the moss age. Every Sunday, I stream Raise Grid live on my Twitch. And if you're a Twitch sub or Patreon, you can join the server and be a part of the series. So thank you guys so much for supporting me. No matter how you do it, just leaving a like on the video helps it get seen. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode of Raise Grid. Bye-bye.